I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty tired yesterday uh, when we came out here, but yeah, just a little bit of everything. But you know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how our bodies are feeling. It doesn't matter how our minds are feeling. We got to figure it out, and we got to be right by Saturday. You know, we had a great chance to win both those games. It'd be a lot different feeling if we came back if we would have won that game versus DC. So. You know, we take the game on Tuesday, learn from it, and take it as a good, you know, it's a good road win, it's a great road win, getting first place in our group, but now we've got to do it in the league, and, uh, you know, Saturday's our chance to do that, so we'll see. I mean, Wednesday's travel back was a long day, getting up in the morning, and then by the time we got back in Salt Lake, it was close to midnight, so a little bit jet-lagged, but yesterday we just came in and did a regeneration day. Today was, you so saw it was light, but fun, so... Right now it's just finding the balance of resting the players that really need it and then getting the, getting the most out of the players that still got a lot in the tank and going to Vancouver and getting another result. You know, we were disappointed that we didn't leave DC results so now I think with these five games in, in 15 days we've got to see the two MLS games and we've got to get something from the, the two road games. So obviously we dropped points in DC so now we need to now we need to uh, pick up some points uh, in Vancouver, so hopefully we can take it to them tomorrow. It really is a whirlwind right now, but the guys are responding really good. Everyone's taking care of their bodies, and I really like where we're at right now. But it's not going to be easy this rest of the trip. But sometimes that makes you come together, makes you concentrate a little bit harder uh, on the small details, and, uh, and I look forward to it. You know, I expect them to play a full team. As of right now, they're in serious contention for winning the West and the Supporter Shield, and I would expect them to bring everybody. I didn't watch the game, but I heard that they rested a lot of guys on Wednesday, so, you know, I'm expecting the full arsenal, and, you know, that's what we got to prepare for. Recently, we've been scoring early, thanks to Platter, so that's great. So I think once we do take that lead, we've got to shut up shop, especially get to half time and with a clean sheet. And then I think in the second half, we've got the ball in our outside of the court and if we can keep it at zeros at half time and close the game out. But Vancouver, they got a solid team from number one to 11. They got some fast players as well, especially coming off the bench, remembering the last game. So we've got to be wary of that. And obviously it's on turf as well. So the ball's gonna, it's not gonna be as, as fluid. So we need to play in, play in their half of the field, play in clever areas and not lose the ball in silly areas. They have some, some guys with Teixeira and Mascara stepping up and playing very well. Their back line has been almost the same back line all year. And they have a nice rotation in the midfield between Laba, Kofi, Tybert. They got a new player that they're playing in there. But I expect a, you know, a really strong team from them. They're a good team. This stretch of road games, we're playing a lot of good teams. So we're fortunate that you know, we kind of experienced something in D.C. that hopefully we can learn from and uh, tighten up a little bit defensively when we come to these league games, especially against these teams that are doing really well. So hopefully we learn from that and, you know, obviously it's going to be a good environment. It's going to be a fun place to play. It's always a fun game and, you know, we're expecting them to be on top of their game and be really good. So that's what we're preparing for and hopefully that's what we'll be ready for 